Hey my water signs and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um... So water signs, weekly energy update anywhere from today, the 30th of January through the 5th of February, give or take a couple of days. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. If you are dealing with a water sign, it's a very general message, you guys. So please keep that in mind that it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. Um, so I'm trying to collect my thoughts because the songs I got for you guys, the first song is Family Affair um mary j blige no more drama album right um emphasis on no more drama or emphasis on like i just kind of feel like you guys are in the energy of not giving a shit this week it almost feels like a little bit of a of a asshole energy and i i got this somewhat for the air signs so you could have air somewhere in your chart um or be dealing with one maybe it's towards an air sign um yeah especially with this choose wisely coming up here because they had this but it's almost like you just not trying to hear like anything that causes you drama anything that like makes you feel some type of way or brings you out of your element like any just anything that might irritate you people you just not trying to hear it it's like you are dodging the bullshit or you're being very much so um what is the word sarcastic or um asshole ish it's just like you just not about the drama okay so that energy just kind of took me for a spin because i was not expecting that for you guys to come up but it's almost like you are trying to um you may or may not be but it's almost like you are kind of doing the most to show someone that you don't care okay or you're just high vibing in this energy of not allowing anyone or anything you know being said or done to affect you that people could be viewing you as like careless or not being empathetic or something like that in a situation um but i don't think that that those are your intentions now the second song i got is love galore by SZA. um and i feel like water signs putting those two songs together i feel like there's a dynamic that you're dealing with in your life now and it may not it may not be seen as the best for other people to other people um, or other people's opinions of it or so how society would view it. Um, just kind of like, it's not up to other people's standards, but it's not other people's life. Okay. So taking that song, it could be a relationship, some sort of relationship dynamic. Um, this could be long-term, short-term, or this could be something maybe you're doing in your career. There's something here. It's like it works for you. It's like crazy enough it works for you. And it might be like some crazy type of energy going on between you and whatever else this is for you. Um, but it works for you. So it's kind of like you're not really trying to hear what anybody else has to say about it. I don't know. Um, I saw a lot of cards of like new beginnings. A lot of cards of like prosperity begins, love begins. Um things like that so let's see what comes out for you guys if you haven't already please go ahead and like the video comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more it actually puts your energy into these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you um but yes yeah, a lot of walking away energy i saw the moving on card as well we got patience here fertility okay let me see or just um like disengaging or like i don't know it, it just gives me like dodging the bullshit transformation keeps popping out here okay so scorpio energy then i saw the nine of cups too i feel like you guys are getting something whatever transition in your life right now is making you very happy okay so maybe you maybe it's the fact that something is going very good in your life right now or you're just you're just in this very good space and it's like nothing else can like knock you out of this like you don't hear nothing else you don't see anything else anyone else um so that could be it too this is it's like your focus is just on this whatever this is and enjoying it transformation came out again positive movement forward what did i say passion ignited with the number one conflict and defeat and the suffering silence this is 
is out there a long period of like you going through something i feel like maybe there was there's been a recent ish time where you just weren't very happy or yeah you just you weren't as happy as you are now okay or things are just kind of going left in your life just a lot of lower lower vibrational energy and now you have this passion ignited and this transformation and positive movement forward um and it feels very good to be in this energy so you're just not allowing like anything that anyone else could say come in between it possibly okay for those of you who might have outsiders kind of digging in or um i don't know maybe worried about how other people would view it suffering suffering in silence i feel like you guys um there was a lot of time of you just kind of being in a low vibration and this could be due to anything love finances self whatever um but that's not the case and you're feeling very good about it so let's see i'm trying to figure out like what's the real problem then um but let's see what comes out and maybe that's how you're feeling like what's the issue I feel like there's something you're dealing with this week, somebody you're talking to, and you just like, what's the issue? Like, what's the real problem? Like, there is no real actual problem in the situation, but maybe somebody is making it seem like it is, okay? And then you have emotional withdrawal. So I really feel like this is the energy that you guys are in for this week, withdrawing from this particular whatever, or just in general. Hmm. And I feel like, that's what I was going to say, and I feel like, um, you prayed on this. This is something that you prayed on or you've really been wanting, desiring with this emotional withdrawal here. Okay. And then we have love begins comes right after. So this is that, that newness, that new beginning, that spark, that seed that's been planted. Um, some sort of growth is showing here, stability, fertility. Okay. Sacral chakra, your wants and desires. Okay. And going from the one to the two, this is something that you really want. Like something is really making you happy here. Um, I feel like you don't, you don't see the issue in what the big fuss is about. Okay. Um, like you don't understand why people feel a certain type of way about this, or it's something like that going on in your mental space. We got the patience card came right back out. What else spirit for my water signs? Patience. Something that you've like, you've been very patient You've been very patient in regards to this coming into your life. Like you've dealt with a lot or you've waited a long time for this. Um, you've always wanted this. It's something you're strongly attached to your desires. I was going to say your dreams or like your goals. Look at this spiritual union. So this is for sure like a relationship for a lot of you guys. It could be you spiritually connecting with something else, some sort of like path or career or anything like that. But it's, it's giving me love. Love begins in spiritual union. This is, um, I don't know why I'm hearing like crafted, like handcrafted or like tailor made or specifically for you type situation. At least that's how you're feeling. The destiny card again. Okay. Something about a tough cycle. Um, and then the temptation card too. It's like you've long awaited for some sort of tough cycle to end or you to be in a different type of energy and now you are but now that this goodness is happening in your life it could be some sort of temptation here okay um from the past friends family members ex-lovers like there's something here capricorn energy it could be any fire sign too okay leo aries sagittarius um or something some sort of uh codependency or it could even be you maybe something that you're holding on to um that could be potentially getting in the way of this at least that's what's showing up this week we have the heart chakra right underneath your sacral chakra here something maybe tied to a past like a past uh relationship too is what i'm really picking up on Or maybe it's something about like love after this toxic cycle or inspiration, happiness, joy after this toxic cycle relationship. It's something about like getting this this wonderful thing. I don't know. Or it's something. Okay, so for some of you, it's something about like getting this wonderful thing after a low vibrational time that you could be kind of struggling with. Um, but I'm also getting that it's something this beautiful thing this goodness in your life is also tied to it's also some sort of temptation or it's also something 
um, like taboo or, you know, according to other people in society, this is how people view it or would view it. It's something like that. But you're getting what you want here. Sacral in the heart chakra, intuition and patience. Okay. Patience leading to the spiritual union, intuition with the patience card. I feel like you're just allowing your intuition. Okay. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water signs, very intuitive, right? To lead you or to guide you. It's just something about the th this that feels right. And then you have awareness. A lot of twos and ones here showing up. Um, but awareness, this is clarity, okay? Um, it's like what you, you are aware, like you know, what you know, you know, is really what I'm hearing. But like you intuitively know, you feel that this is for you. It's some sort of spiritual alignment, whether it's love or just some sort of opportunity here. Awareness and spiritual union. Okay. Um, at the bottom, we have memories of love. Okay. So, and then we have fulfillment of wishes, victory, and success. Whatever this is, I'm getting longevity with this uh, six, this memories of love. I'm getting um, like a lot of memories could be created here, especially with the fulfillment of wishes and victory and success. Another six. You got six, nine, six, nine. Okay. Um, victory, success, suffering, and silence, transformation. Ooh, something about memories, making a lot of memories here, or a lot of like, like time stamps or my milestones, whatever this is. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's go to the tarot. See what else comes out for you guys. If you are um, listening to this and it hits home for you looking for a private reading experience check out the description box below to see how to book a private session with me okay um knight of pentacles at the bottom we also have the high priestess we have the ace of pentacles the tower card so we already have earth pisces scorpio world card emperor King of Swords, Seven of Cups, Lovers, Judgment. It's um, mm, it's a lot of like, whew, like it's a hold. Like this has a hold on you or something about you wanting to maintain a hold on this. Whatever this is, whatever's occurring in your life um, of significance, most significance this week. Okay, this goodness. Um, What else, Spirit? Let's see. What other messages do we have for my water signs this week? Anything we need to know? Clarity, confirmation, spirit for my water signs this week. I almost went to say Leo. So somebody, you could be dealing with a Leo or someone's name could be Leo. Um, or something about August because I'm being drawn towards this eight. Okay, so um, maybe just the season. All right, so let's see. We have the full card. We have the nine of cups. Ooh, I feel like this is you. What else? Hold on, let's see. Queen of cups, ten of swords. It's kind of like, I feel like you guys are being selfish with your time your energy, your emotions. It's almost like there's this coldness to someone specifically, maybe. Um, or maybe it is more than one person, but it's kind of like you are not giving to some situation that you're familiar with. Very cold, like no lovey-dovey, no, we can't play. It's something, it's like you're completely closed off to something else because of the the good, whatever the goodness is. Um, so maybe you're just not wanting to mess something up. It just feels like your, your focus here with this Queen of Cups energy, which is you, Water Signs. Um, I don't know, I just kind of feel like you're not budging. Somebody could be trying to get what they want, okay? Get their way with you also. And it's like, you're just not, you're not having it. Queen of Wands, okay? Fire energy, but also I feel like this could be you. It's like either this is you, okay? 
intentionally or not or somebody is viewing you like this like somebody's upset because they can't have their way with you um if this is somebody who used to kind of just i don't know they would call you a run you know or they needed something you were there like maybe you waited on this person hand and foot or you just really gave this person a lot of time and your energy at some point in time i feel like that's a no-go like that's just not like somebody thought that they could come back or it's something a fool like somebody you feel like somebody think thinks that you're a fool this week eight of cups Ooh. ten of pentacles i'm also getting like water signs it's like somebody sees you happy that's another thing i feel like you are genuinely very happy this week um unbothered uplifted dodging the bullshit and it's like it's almost like you're too happy without this person so now they want to resurface or they want to be in your energy or they want to see what's going on or something like that is going on here queen of cups strength card like yeah like a hard pass a hard pass on the situation and this is this Leo energy coming back up. Oh, wait, okay, so this is Leo energy coming back up. Also, the number eight. It's something about the number eight here or the month of August. Um, or just simply you having this, this, you know, this very, um, I want to say cold. I also just want to say platonic. Okay, so maybe this is someone that you used to deal with possibly. Um, let's see, what else, Spirit? Two of Pentacles. If some sort of offer or deal was on the table between you and something else, you and somebody else, it's like no longer an option. Something here is just like a hard no, a hard pass. It's no longer an option. An opportunity or something. What's the last card out, Spirit? The Eight of Swords. Something about You got eight, eight, eight. And this Queen of Wands is upset. Whether it's a fire sign or not, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you guys. Because outside of yourself, I mean, I guess we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn here too. So we kind of got some of everybody. But it could definitely be an air sign for some of you guys. Um, somebody's upset. Because it's a hard no, all right? At the bottom, we have the three of wands. So this is this energy possibly reaching out to you. The eight of wands. Yeah, look at this. The eight of wands, the devil card, the star card. Like somebody could be obsessed with you or obsessed with getting to you. Could be sending you like excessive messages or just really doing the most here. Star card, six of wands, page of pentacles, empress, three of cups. It's something. Like, somebody's determined to, um, like, make you change your mind or something. So, let's see, you guys. Um, let's wrap it up with some cards from the Divine Doors deck. See what extra message is here. I did just see Trust the Universe at the bottom. Okay, so, um... I don't feel like you guys need that advice, but maybe you do in some sort of area of your life to just trust the universe, trust how things are going to pan out for you. Okay, we have freedom flows. It says don't hold yourself, don't hold back yourself from worldly freedom. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. Um don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. It's kind of like somebody might be very controlling too. That's what I'm getting with this Queen of Wands energy or a very controlling, I don't know, boss or just situation here. Some Somebody's very controlling and it's like because they don't, they can't get their way with you or you won't follow suit or come back. It's like, don't hold yourself back. Um, and again, I feel like you guys are already in the energy of, of freeing yourself from whatever this is. So let's see. Two more cards, Spirit. Two more cards for my water signs. Anthony's call. It says, and thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost so can be found. It's something about finding this happiness elsewhere. And somebody didn't think that you ever would 
be good enough for a situation, an opportunity, a relationship, or find better than them is also kind of what I'm getting to or never thought that you would move on or leave or somebody thought you would put up with something, okay, forever or something like that or be stuck on them. I don't know. Secret sketches. It says wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. So yeah, like wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. I feel like you already have a familiar, friendly person that you are around or situation or opportunity. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. So live your life. I said at the beginning, it was something about memories, creating memories here. Okay. And we have heart healing. Morning now has had its time. Do not pay it a single dime. Emerge from the dark a new day starts let light embrace the healing heart you're healing you're happy like what's the problem somebody has a problem with this so leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time